everyone. Jorge Lina here. Thank you so much for joining me on my journey today. I am once again bulk recording. Uh, by bulk, I mean two videos. I am going to record both of them back to back. I just finished uh, recording my video unboxing. Um, and in that video from Tuesday, I told you that my next video, I would talk about the bags that I recently let go of um, to purchase something else. So I will have an unboxing coming up, um, but I did want to discuss some of the things that I let go of and why. So I did let go of a Chanel bag. I also let go of three SLGs, a charm, a wallet, and a pouch. And the reason why I let those go is simply because I was not using them for the three SLGs. Um, for the bag, it does have a little bit of a different story. And the reason for that is I wasn't using it, not because I don't like the bag, but because the bag held this like negative, um, how can I say it? This like negative story for me. I purchased that bag from somebody that I really trusted, um, that I believed in their business very much like Candy, right? I believe in Candy's business. I trust her. Um, so this was purchased from someone else in the same um, line of thinking. And I was led to believe that I was getting this like amazing deal. I don't know anything about Chanel. So I recognize now that I kind of stepped out of my lane and my comfort zone. I love Louis Vuitton. I know a lot about it. Um, I'm not going to tell you I can spot a fake from a mile away or anything like that. But um, I trust Candy's authentication. Um, and I also trust the other sellers authentication. Um, I'm not saying that I don't. Um, but it's just that that's my comfort zone. Louis Vuitton is my comfort zone. And Chanel just wasn't. So I believed I was getting this ridiculous deal. Um, this whole community that was built uh, led me to believe that I was getting a fantastic deal. I did not once think about it. I went ahead and I purchased it. I put it on a payment plan. Um, I paid it off as soon as I could. Um, I want to say like two weeks, three weeks. Uh, it was just paid off. It came. It was the most expensive bag I have ever purchased. I spent the most amount of money on it. And when it came in, I just, you know, I thought about this is the first thing that I ever buy without putting a ton of thought into it, which for me, that became an issue, it started eating at me because that's what I do. I like looking at the bag that I want. I like knowing that it's going to work for me. I like, you know, maybe I went to the store and I noticed it and I touched it, or maybe I've watched 8,000 reviews on it. Um, I see the nicks and the knacks. Um, and when I'm going to spend that kind of money on something, I want to know that it's something that I am going to love and enjoy, right? If I happen to get something at Louis Vuitton directly, I can always send it back if it comes in it and I don't like it, right? When you're buying from a reseller, that's not really a possibility, right? Um, so you should know that when you're buying something from a reseller, it is final sale. So when I received it, uh, that was tugging at me that I hadn't done any research on it. As soon as I looked it up, I realized that I had just monumentally overpaid. I'm not talking a couple hundred dollars. I'm talking over a thousand dollars overpaid. Um, it was just this like weight on me. Like it just made me feel dumb. It made me feel stupid um, that I would do that because I do have a clear rule for myself that I do not pay over retail. I just don't. I Again, I think I've said this before. I understand that there is a market for that and why, like limited edition things. I get it. I get that people really want some stuff. Sometimes it's sold out, so they overpay. Maybe it's something they can't get anymore. Uh, it's highly coveted. Whatever that is, that's not who I am, right? That is just not who I am uh, to each their own, right? I don't think it's a bad thing for people to do that. I understand again why there's a market for that, but that's just not me. I'm not going to pay over retail for a handbag when I already think they are overpriced uh, to begin with. I love them, but I do think that the prices are ridiculous. And uh, so I, I know that. 
So when I got this bag and I realized that I had overpaid and it's not limited edition and it's not like, right, there is no justification for having paid that much other than being told that I was getting a good deal from a person that I trusted. So I just couldn't get myself to use it. I just, every time I looked at it, it like reminded me of my stupidity. And I, I know that this might sound weird to some people, but that is just how I felt. And I hung out and I just kept it because I felt like, oh my God, I have to get rid of this. And I am going to lose so much money because I would never charge someone what I paid for it, knowing damn right that that's not what that bag is worth. Like, it's just not who I am. Uh, so I held on to it. I tried to use it. I just felt iffy towards it. I felt just fell out of love for it. As soon as they came in, I couldn't send it back. I am not the type of person to complain. So I never said anything. Uh, Till this day, the seller doesn't know how I felt about it. Uh, I just simply stopped buying from the seller. I stopped going to their live sales and interacting. I just I, I got this like, weird, gross taste um, in my mouth off of it. And I just stopped uh, going around. So I got rid of it. Um, and lost a lot of money. <laughs> um, but I am happy with that decision because that money was still enough adding also the SLGs and the stuff that I'm not using. And I'm getting two new bags from Candy. Um, they're going to be coming soon. I will do an unboxing when those get here. And I know that those bags are going to get a ton of use. They are both Louis Vuitton. And uh, that is my lane, right? That is my lane. Um, they are coming from Candy's personal collection too. So I know they're going to be in amazing condition. I am so pumped. Both of them are dream bags that are discontinued. Uh, so what I like, right? Highly researched. I know what they're worth. I know I got a great deal. I didn't have to put any money into it. Um, so I am really, really excited that that one ugliness, uh, that one story is turning into something so exciting for me. And I know we're talking about handbags, but that's what this channel is about when you are watching me on Tuesdays and Thursdays and not watching my teacher lives. But I am so incredibly thankful that I was able to snatch this, uh, these deals with Candy. So I had been wanting the bags for a while. Um, again, I was not shopping though, so I didn't, uh, I, I couldn't. And they just, they were kind of sitting there. She lowered the price a couple of times. I was just like, oh my God, they're going to go, they're going to go. <laughs> and then it was just meant to be. Then my bag uh, sold and my SLG sold and I was just able to buy it without coming out of pocket. And I am really excited about that. And I can't wait until those get here. And when they do, I will definitely do an unboxing and remind you of this story. Uh, but that's it. This one's a really quick chat. I wanted to talk to you about that. And if I have one tip to leave you with is that when you are shopping pre-loved, do your research. Don't be like me. I won't ever do that again. I never did it before, right? So if you are, don't get caught up in the live. So when you're all excited and just like, oh, mine, mine, sold, sold, right? Whatever they say in the lives, don't get caught up without doing your research first. If you're watching your live, check those prices, ask, right? Check those prices, ask, unless you don't mind overpaying, right? If they're, or you already know, right? Like I, I have a clear thing in my mind of what I want. And I know in general, what these bags are worth with Louis Vuitton. So that is my one tip. Don't get caught up in this sense of community. It is amazing. Our The little community, especially like that candy is building is so nice. I love chatting with everybody. So many of you leave me comments here and I love you so much for that. I love all these friendships that are brewing. Uh, they really bring a lot into my very quiet at home, lonely life. Um, so I do enjoy that aspect of it, but I'm not going to let it, uh, I, I'm not going to let it caught me, catch me off guard when it comes to all this money we're pouring into these handbags, right? I do, I, I will add to that. I wholeheartedly trust Candy. She always tells us the prices are set by her consigners. They are not hers. But if something is not an amazing deal, she's not going to tell you, you are getting an amazing deal. She will explain to you why it's priced the way that it's priced. And I so appreciate that, right? When you are buying pre-loved, you want a good deal or you want to find this treasure, 
that which is a lot of the stuff that Candy has are just treasures, right? So if you are after a treasure, well, yeah, you're gonna pay what is what is worth. But she's not going to sell you something that it's just that it's just not worth it because she won't accept items like that. She'll let the buyers, the sellers, like everybody know. Um, so I do trust that. And even though I trust her dearly, I will still always do my due diligence. And that has nothing to do with her. It has everything to do with this story I just told. So again, I'm just glad it's out of my house. It's been sold. The next person did get an amazing deal because I made darn sure that when I talked to Candy about it, I told her the whole story. She knew what to price it at. It went right away because it was just a fantastic deal. And the next person is going to be so incredibly happy with it. And I am incredibly happy that it worked out that way. So again, I get happiness from there, knowing that I was able to help somebody get a bag that they're going to love and enjoy in that way. And in turn, I am getting something that I am going to love and enjoy and that I've wanted for so long. And it's going to be so much better for me. So I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to show you. It's going to be a while until I get that unboxing done. Until then, this, when you're watching this, I will be full on till my first week back to school. So I'm going to be up to here with work and planning and getting things done. But I just want to make sure I continue to push out those two videos a week. If you have stuck around this far, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you on the next one. Bye.